Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase the password field. And I have created a small program which shows how you are able to create a simple mechanism where we will be able to actually see the text in the password field. Because normally you can't, but I am doing it like in a different way where I'm switching between a password field and a text field. So let's have a look at what the password field is, first of all. So the password field is just kind of like a text field where you can write some text, but as you can see, the text is hidden. But the program I created allow us to have a checkbox where we can show the password and hide it again. So how this works is actually quite simple. We actually have a password field and a text field on top of each other. And whenever we click this checkbox, we simply turn the password field off, the text field on, and transfers the text from the password field to the text field. And in that way, we're able to see the text and it kind of looks like we're actually showing. But in reality, we're actually just changing between two different fields, the password field and the text field. So let's have a look at the code. So we have a password field, text field, and a checkbox. So whenever we click on the checkbox, we call this change visibility action and we would first check if the checkbox is selected. We would then take the password text from the password field and put it into our text field. We then have our text field set visible and our password field set invisible, set false in this case of the visible. And then we end the statement. Otherwise we would, if it's not checked, we would do the opposite where we get our text from our text field and put it into our password field. And then again, set our text, our password field visible and our text field invisible. And just to demonstrate as well inside a scene builder, you can see we have these two different text fields. We have our text field, which in this case is invisible and a password field up here. So we should just have them not on top of each other and run the program again. It's actually quite clearly we're able to see here we're writing the, the password field. And then we show the text down here in our text field. And then we can swap between these two. So if you enjoyed this quick demonstration of the password field and an example of how we can actually show the text, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.